Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip explains some of the questions from the benchmark three that uh, a lot of us missed. So just to help us figure out how to do those. So we were given this graph and asked to write any well the inequality for it. So if it were a line, we would say, well, the line is y is equal to down one over four times x minus one. Because it's an inequality, we would say y is less than or equal to negative one fourth x minus one. A shoe store sold 340 pairs of boots in February, 374 in March. The two store managers are arguing about whether sales will continue to increase at a linear rate or an exponential rate. They decide to write equations for both. Um, <clears throat> based on the increase in the number of boots sold from February to March, complete the two the table to show the two equations where M represents the number of months since January. So we only have the values in <clears throat> February and March and they want us to start this equation in January. And that equals 1.1, so it's increased by 10% um, from 340 to 374. And so my equation will be something like this. The number of boots is equal to the starting number of boots times 1.1 raised to the T for months, for time. Let's put in a value that we know. We know that we had 340 boots when the number of months was 1, so we could solve for V. 1.1 raised to the 1 is 1.1, so I don't have to write raised to the 1. So 340 divided by 1.1. So V is very close to 309. So my equation would be my number of boots is equal to 309 times 1.1 raised to the T for the number for the time, which is months in this case. Okay, so if we have a table and they tell us that it's a linear equation, we can look for the increase in an hour. Well, the increase in an hour would be that right there. So let's take our 19.5 and let's subtract our 18.7. That gives us 0 0.8. So I know that my water level as a function of time is going to be equal to 0 0.8 t plus some starting value. Well, let's plug in one of those points. Let's plug in 19.5 is equal to 0 0.8 times 2 plus b. So that's 1.6 plus b. So let's subtract the 1.6. And that gives us, so 19 take away 2 would be 17. Bring back the 0.5 and 0.4 more would be 17.9. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, so the equation, we can finish by replacing the B with the 17.9. My equation as a, of the water as a function of time is equal to 0 0.8 times the number of hours plus 17.9. The image of point A is at 2 comma negative 6 after reflection is, oh, after reflection, the point A prime. The line of reflection intersects A, A prime. That means the line segment going from A to A prime at point negative 4 comma 4. So let's plot A. Let's go 2. Well, let's have each of those be 2. I think we're going to go off the graph if we don't. So let's have that be 2. So go over 2 and down 6. 1, 2, oh, 2, 4, 6. So that would be negative 6. That point right there. And so we have the ref intersection of the reflection line and the line between the two points is at negative 4, negative 4. So negative 4, oh negative 4, positive 4, sorry. So that point right there. So we know that the line goes perpendicular to this line and we know it's going to keep going past that the same distance. Well, to figure out what that is, I'm just going to go down 1, 2, or 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and back 2, 4, 6. So I'm going to go up 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and back 6, 2, 4, 6. So it's going to be that point right there. <clears throat> the coordinates of that point are negative 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So negative 10, comma, and up 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So the approximate line of best fit is given by the equation y equals 4x minus 1800. Based on this trend, which of the following best predicts the SAT score for a high school student with a GPA of 95? <clears throat> so a GPA of 95 would be right here. So it's going to be somewhere around there. But they actually have the equation for us. All we have to do is say y equals 40. Oops, 40 times 95 minus 1800. So that says that the y, which is our ACT, our SAT, is going to be equal to 2000. Well, that doesn't match any of the selections but the question said which one is the best the closest and that was like 1890 or something like that not oh, 1980 okay. solve this linear inequality below I would subtract the 4x that's the smaller of the two w with variables so that would say 5x minus 8 is greater than 7 plus 8 plus 8 so 5x is Oops. 5x is greater than 15. x is greater than 3.